Hello everybody, Superka Cole here today with Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization 6. Let's go ahead and start creating a new game. Now let's see here. I recently got this and I'm pretty decent at it. I love Civilization. So, anyways, let's get right in. Who are we gonna play as? We could play as any of these. And I think I will go with Pericles. Yeah, sure. Pericles. And yeah, I'll keep it on Prince, like I said. I'm decent at the game. And standard game speed. We will shuffle. We'll do a standard map size. Going in here. Turn off score victory. And then turn them in. And that should be good. Let's go ahead and let's start a ride up. From the first stirrings of life beneath water to the great beasts of the Stone Age to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Your mastery of the spoken word is a gift of great value, silver-tongued Pericles, leader of the Greeks. Through it, you can attract the devotion of a league of states, surrounding yourself with their glory. Establish cultural sites along the rocky shores of Greece to unite your people behind your strong governance. If all goes well, the sirens will sing of the age of Pericles. And with that, we get the Acropolis to replace the theater district. We have plus 5% culture per city state that I am a suzerain of. I get one extra wildcard policy slot in any government. And we have the hoplite unit, which is like, you have one hoplite, it's pretty weak on its own, but if you have more than one hoplite next to each other, they like, give each other a combat boost kind of thing. And because of that, I think we will either go for a cultural victory or a domination victory, whichever one comes first. Meanwhile, if this doesn't get done loading in a little bit, I will just jump cut over to when it's done, so, yeah. And we are ready. Let's hop right in. Oh. Glitch a little bit there. Move the horse unit first. Or not the horse, uh, I was thinking of that. Use Move the warrior first. Got some mercury. Turn on the yield icons. This seems like it might be a decent place to settle. I have access to mountains, so that'll be good science. I'm in the range of this Mercury. And then there's more mountains down there that I will be in range of. So yeah, we'll settle our, hit our Athens here. And we'll go ahead and build that monument because, you know, cultural victory. Here's the new tech tree, with all of its boosts and everything. Nice big tech tree. Let's see here. We need mining for that, and we need animal husbandry. So, we'll go mining and then animal husbandry. And then we'll go up for astrology. Get an early religion all set up. Get some extra culture. Because I believe that's a thing with religions. See some water down here. Is this a lake or... Nope, it's the coast. So if we move down this way with our next settler, it'll be good. Anywho. Ugh. Nice big stretch. Found our first goody hut. And we found a barbarian scout. Looking good. We have some stone resources within the vicinity of our capital. And there's another scout. And that's not a good sign. Yay. So we're going to have two different barbarian encampments attacking us early on. 
That's never a good thing. Okay, and I think I found one of them. And I already have a promotion available. Got some furs down there. Some mercury. Let's go ahead and upgrade this guy. Make him better at fighting. Two turns away from growing Athens out. So, that's a good thing. We're, we're going to go ahead and start trying to get rid of this barbarian encampment. Move these guys with spears away. I mean, we're looking at them. Why don't we get the idea and just like, oh yeah, that's a spear. Just like, get the spear. What continent are we on, by the way? Baltica. We're playing multiplayer hot seat mode with my cousin the other day. Uh, the continent ended up being called Amasia. Which meant that, since I was the only one who spawned there, it, it meant that I could call myself the only Amazian uh, Civ. Everybody else wasn't as Amazian as me. It was like, all the puns are made. I'll tell ya. I don't know if it's just me, but my voice seems when you deeper. Find yourself in a hole. Which is weird. I thought I'd be over the whole voice deepening bit, but you know. Puberty. It's a beautiful thing. Sometimes. Not all the time. Actually, most of the time it's not beautiful at all, but it's a thing. So, we got some crabs. Oop, I bumped the mic. Sorry about that. I'm just going to move it back. There we go. I love the art style of this game, by the way. I love how nice and colorful it is up close, and then how uh, areas you can't see just look like they've been hand drawn out on the map and then everything else just looks like you just haven't explored it and it actually looks like a map for once so that's another thing we're gonna go settler we already have mining which means that as soon as we get our worker we can get to work on uh, getting that mercury and that stone but animal husbandry comes first and then we're probably gonna need irrigation. I don't know. I think we need irrigation to get rice. I think so. Also, there's the strategic view, which that looks awesome best. now. When it used to look absolutely butt ugly. Let's see. What's over here? Uh, this would be a good place to sell a city, if not just for how it would look. Gonna go ahead and do foreign trade. Get that extra God King ability in there. And do that because no doubt we will be definitely facing off against barbarians. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Ooh. So you sent up some of the crappiest ranged units and units overall in game. To try to kill off Athens. Well, why ain't you just a smarty warty? Oh. I guess you are smarter than I thought you were. Smarter than the average bear! One second. I wonder if I can. Yes, I can purchase a slinger myself. As my phone goes off. Waiting, waiting, waiting. If there are no dogs in heaven, then when I die, I want to go where they went. Me too, buddy, me too. Now, some of the quotes aren't as good as that, but, like, there are quite a few that get above that bar, and quite a few that go below, but, yeah. I should probably let him read out the quotes, but, you know, I might accidentally skip them from time to time. I don't normally listen to them, so... Jeez! It's just all of the barbarians are coming my way today, aren't they? And there's another goodie hut. Fire off some rocks at another slinger. Get the archery boost, which is why I purchased a, sl a slinger instead of for a warrior. And there's more guys! Yeah. Go ahead 
in and get that. Get the scout. Move him off that way. Wow, we have a huge mountain chain. Um, right now I'm just worrying over whether or not we're going to be able to get rid of these guys before our archer is done. Which we probably won't be able to now that I think about it, but... Move the scout. Thank you. We have a one tile thing through the mountain range here. Ain't that just beautiful? You can pop a city down this way. Scout, you can just keep moving up that way. See what the heck's beyond the mountain range. And then build another warrior. Fire off against that guy. And you can just sleep for now. I have no clue what I'm doing. Like, song-wise. Ooh, city-state. Time for that suzerain bonus to come in handy, right? I think we'll settle a city here. To be next to the city-state. Kill off that bonehead down there. Get some bronze working going with us. I feel like I might be too close to the mic. Every nation lives by ex You guys hear that? Try to make it sound as disgusting as possible. You know, go ahead and get early empire. Get some borders defined for us. Villainous. Vilnius, even. So we must not have been the first person to meet this city-state, seeing as we didn't get a, uh, envoy. <laughs> Sorry, took me a couple seconds to realize what that was called. Took, it didn't give us an envoy, which means that somebody else already... Somebody else already ended up meeting this guy. We're gonna go ahead and build a trader. Got a trade route set up to Vilnius. They were almost done taking down an encampment over there, so. I don't know why it thought I wanted to move my slinger, but, you know, fair is fair, I guess. I mean, not really, but... Woo! And now I've met Brussels. We're just meeting all the city-states today now, aren't we? Yay, we were the first to meet them. We got a vassal. Or not a vassal. Shoot. Wait, can we vassalize them? Is that a thing we can do? It is levy mode. A suzerain of the state state can pay 80 gold to take temporary control of all of its current military units. They return to the state state after 30 turns. Or if the suzerain changes. Huh. Anywho. Go ahead and get this guy some XP. Move this guy back inside the city. As I pop my neck a tiny bit. Probably didn't hear that. Move my scout out here. We have a lot of stone in the vicinity of our capital, so... Continue exploring. Got us another doodat down there. He wants me to sell down here, probably because forests and stuff like that. There's some coffee. Some 
turfy. And we got that. Oh yeah, that's a cost. So I bet you it comes down around here. Ooh, goody hut. I have to make sure to go get that. Settle down. Corinth. Build another monument there. Meanwhile, up here. Gott grüße euch, Geselle. Ich bin Kaiser Friedrich und herrsche über deutsche und welsche Lande, über Burgund und manche mehr. Ich this weiß very wohl, pretty dass auch ihr Kund geherrschen mit rechter Gewalt. Greetings, I am the Holy Ram... Let me try that again. Greetings, I am the Holy Roman Emperor, Frederick, King of Germany, Italy, Burgundy, and many others. I trust that you will rule your lands as I do, through might. It is an honor to meet you. As the Holy Roman Emperor, I welcome you to our land. If you wish, you can see some of its glory the nearest city. Unless, of course, they are rebelling again. I would love to sample your hospitality. Ooh. Knowledge boost. Action! It's a very much, uh... It's very much a, uh... How do I put it? It's very much a... Sneezy game. <laughs> Get it? Sleazy. Sneezy. You see, it's a pun. It sounds like a sneeze. Action! Oh, vast plain area right here. And some marshes. We've just more or less carved a scouting path up towards the north, haven't we? I don't believe in astrology. I'm a Sagittarius, and we're skeptical. <laughs> that that's kind of funny. Do do new research. do 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 and get some archery, sailing, and bronze working. How about that? Go ahead and construct a holy site. I think I'll pay for this tile, so that way we get a couple extra holy points. Oh, but, uh, then move this warrior down that way. Ooh! Shroud of Turin. Created by Martyr Martyred Apestil. Relic 2840 BC. Displayed in the Palace of Athens. <sighs> that is awesome. That was quick too. It's very rare to get a great work, I find, from Goody Huts. Time to move the warrior again. So I think it's safe to say that, uh... Oh, apparently, it's gonna whip me around. I would assume that it's safe to say that, uh... There's nothing else much down here, except for these cliffs. Which might be the only cliffs I've found so far. Yeesh. So it's only gonna be like one decent spot to invade. Or to settle in with like a city. I'm very slow talking today. Excuse me. Do 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 do. Ooh, ooh. Let's see here. Plus one culture from pastures. Plus one culture from banana, citrus, cotton, dyes, silk, spices, and sugar plantations. It could do border expansion rate is 15% higher. I think I will do border expansion rate. Hmm. 
I wonder if they're actually going to manage to capture Vilnius. That'd be an interesting turn of events. Hmm. I might try going to war with- Oop, I just bumped the mic again. Wow, I'm doing that a lot. I might try going to war with Germany to defend Vilnius. That spot was bugging me. I just had to clear it up there. I really hope they don't take over Vilnius. Actually, from the looks of it, it might be fairly easy to take over. You know what? We're gonna rush to Vilnius' aid. Because why the heck not? We need city-states in order to get that bonus. Why not defend them, huh? Getting really low FPS for some reason. Even though it don't particularly no look like it. Clay and then left it. Okay. here. Still no. One second, guys. I'll be right back. Hey, guys, I'm back. Just a temporary thing there. Anywho, rushing to Vilnius' aid. Your progress towards government stuff. So did... Oh, I'm at Stockholm. And I sent them an envoy, because I'm the first one to meet them. Aw, oh, they're gonna get the goodie hunt, aren't they? I'm gonna go ahead and... Try to get to Vilnius before they... Kill off the city. Aw. Oh, they can't actually get the goodie hut. Yeesh! That not good. That not good at all. Wait, did those guys die trying to defend me? Or... Trying to attack me? Cause if so, that'd be hilarious. turn we'll have our holy site getting decently far in here into the episode so think I'll end it off ah that's a nice way to end things off with a new production we will build a greenery we'll do this last turn and then we'll end it off how about that Okay. Yeesh. Just sitting here watching everything go on. Ooh. Writing is easy. Just one more turn. Yep. I keep accidentally middle clicking. Too used to... Uh, parts of Iron 4, that's it. Über Vorsichtigkeit sie gelobet. Zu helfen diesem Riech. He's a ta Shut up. Goodbye. Rrr. 
must recapture Vilnius in the name of, well, Vilnius. But anywho, I think we'll leave it there for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a good time watching this video. I loved making it, because Cliff 6, love it. But that's about it for today. Thanks, and bye. Shumaka out. Peace!